the College of St. Joe's is getting into farming. With a farm manager now on staff, the first gardens are planted and growing, and plans to expand are well underway. I've been really fortunate to work with the college. I approached um, the president here, Rich Lloyd, um, about having a curriculum or even just having a farm on campus. Because I had that high school experience um, with working with a high school, managing a farm. So the food here um, is grown for the college to use in the dining hall. And then because it's a Catholic school, there's an outreach component that we also feed into the mission. We connect with Raffle um, to do their gleaning program. And so that there's this like, I kind of say that it's for edible and educational purposes so the students are eating it and they're also witnessing where it's grown and then also that outreach component of feeding the community. The three gardens next to the mansion on CSJ's campus are currently growing five different crops. My take on it is everyone eats so to be an educated eater is, is vital and so many of our students come either from cities, like most of our students aren't from Vermont. Actually, a class that I'm teaching right now for a summer course, there's 11 students. One out of 11 grew up in Vermont. They're from Texas, California, all over the country, and many of them are coming from cities. And so even though we think of Vermont being this bucolic farmland place, so many of our students aren't at all exposed to that. So when you say to them, where does a carrot come from? Where does lettuce come from? They say the grocery store. What is kale? Is I mean, like they don't know necessarily what kale is, which is something that we're growing right here. Um, so for me, it's a lot about education in the cafeteria. It's not classroom education so much, it's like curriculum based, but there is that kind of exposure throughout their eating. During our visit to campus, a summer class was touring the grounds, learning about different plants, what they are and how they grow. Eventually, the class will look at areas on campus they can change and beautify by planting more flowers and shrubs. The class ties into the new gardening mission because students are learning firsthand about the plants and vegetables, where they come from, and how they grow. There is a club on campus that meets weekly that I have students come out and we go soup to nuts from building beds to seeding lettuce to harvesting carrots to the whole nine yards. And then even bringing it to that to the outreach part of it, you know, going to the mission and delivering food so that they can really see the full circle of nutritious food and how vital it is and how um, meaningful it can be and how much of a community strengthener food can be. Um, so that's kind of my role. It's not, I'm not a teacher but uh, in, the, in the like strict sense, but that education just kind of happens. Griffin uses the lasagna method of farming, as she calls it, layering different components in the ground to make a good foundation instead of tilling the land. So this whole um, plot, it's about two-thirds of an acre, and which by many farmer standards is a garden, and not, that's not much. But, um, but I think it's plenty, especially to start, because it is just me, really. Um, and we can really intensely grow. And also the training that I've gotten and what I, the practices I follow is I don't rototill. So it becomes kind of a home gardener's scale practice on just a bigger scale. So for example, the plot that I have right here that we started um, last fall, we laid down um, actually old carpeting from the dining hall. We renovated the dining hall, we took the carpet out, laid it down to kill the grass. And then once the grass was killed about two months in, we pulled it back up, we then laid down cardboard and newspaper, then some lime and some pine mulch, and then compost. So it really is kind of like a lasagna or parfait gardening. And then we came in this spring, once everything kind of settled over the winter, and hand built each bed. When more students return to campus this fall, Griffin will have added help tending the gardens and teaching students how they can can, freeze, and store their crops for use at a later date. The farming program will build a community compost center this fall on campus for local residents to drop off their compost. Yeah, we want to provide food to the community, but also to create relationships with the food network of this community, both for our students and for the community to, to recognize CSJ in that way. Um, because we are kind of, we're in the city, but we're just a little bit off the beaten path. And many people actually kind of forget that CSJ is even a Rutland college. Um, so for us to be able to make that connection through food is really wonderful and strong. For more information on the farm at CSJ, contact Griffin at Kimberly.Griffin at CSJ.edu.